The drill is part of the preparations the Joint Security Task Force team has undertaken to tighten up security for world leaders during the Leaders Summit. For this particular demonstration, members of LRRU display how they would respond to a hostage situation. In this drill, the bus transporting a number of APEC delegates was ejected and the passengers on board were held hostage. Upon receiving intelligence that APEC delegates were held hostage, members of the LRRU will respond. This footage shows how PNGDF snipers would react to the situation before a team of specialized soldiers would approach the bus, disarm the attackers and free the hostage. I think the defense force is placed at a, at a level and at a position that it is now. Can, I must uh, confidently say that it can support the RPNGC in delivering APEC. Uh, so what the demonstration that you've seen this afternoon is a demonstration of any other any other counter-terrorist uh, elements around the world that is preparing to support any government. LRRU, formerly known as the Special Force Unit in the PNGDF, was formed in 1996 to respond to small emergencies in the country. Since its formation, the unit has been engaged in some taskings directed by the government. They include the rescuing of Indonesians who were taken hostage by West Papuans in 2015, the Ramsey operation in Solomon Islands in 2003, and the Bougainville Sandline crisis in 1990. It's uh, the stage and the level that we've reached in preparation for APEC. Uh, I'd like to thank uh, our great friends from Australia and New Zealand for the support that they have provided all these years. And I must say, uh, the capability we've reached now to support the police for APEC, especially for the Leaders' Week, is a transformation. This capability is seen as a transformation in the history of PNGDF as it prepares specialized soldiers to respond to emergencies at an international standard. Getting security right for APEC uh, in the lead up, especially for the Leaders Summit and the CEO Summit in November this year. But what we're doing as well is we're embracing their hard training by also making sure that this is a legacy that will last on for a long, long time after APEC. This training is mainly to address counter-terrorism. It is one of the many sets of training that has been undertaken to ensure that Papua New Guinea delivers a safe and secure APEC. Tekla Gunga, National MTV News.